Yo, what's going on guys? Today we are at an abandoned Volkswagen graveyard in the middle of the woods. But yeah, as far as I know, this is just a scrapyard with a bunch of cars. And in the back of the scrapyard, it's actually just full of old school vintage retro Volkswagens from like the 40s, the 50s, like decades ago, guys. These have been sitting here for literally almost 50 years probably. And of course we got the OG Steve Ronan back here with me today. All right, guys, you already know we're coming in here. We're hitting this place hard. We're going to get some good shots. We're going to have a good time. This might be a sort of short video, but I'm sure it'll come out the way we want it to. But yeah, let's send it. Alright guys, so honestly there isn't a lot of history that I could find about this place. All I know is that the cars started being collected and put in the graveyard in 1974 by the owner of the scrapyard. I guess his plan was to actually bring all these cars back to their former glory, like repair them and stuff, but he just collected so many cars that he just couldn't keep up with it and eventually he just gave up. So now I'm pretty sure that there's like over 200 abandoned retro Volkswagen cars in this graveyard and they've just been sitting here since 1974. So one cool thing about this spot, other than the fact that it's just like retro Volkswagen cars everywhere, it's also completely like full-blown fall season. So I mean, the colors and the aesthetics of everything is just gonna look so much better with all the fall colors, you know what I mean? So I'm really excited to see what I can make here. The only cooler season that it must be to film here will be in the winter and I saw um, Abandoned Central take pictures in the winter here as well which is really really cool it came out so dope and I thought it was the most unique thing because nobody's done that before so yeah big shouts to Abandoned Central very inspiring group of people I'm glad that they're still doing their thing and they're still kicking it but I'll talk to you guys when we get there guys all the cars are literally like right there you can almost see all of them guys they're looking at all right here some right here and it goes all the way down this way it's all full of just these old vintage Volkswagen cars we're obviously just trying to get in without starting any trouble we don't really know the area too well guys look at all the Volkswagen cars all the way down guys cool thing about this place is it's not just beetles like you know you think Volkswagen you think like a beetle like a punch buggy or whatever but it's not just beetles it's wagons like legit wagons like look at these two over here see guys like they actually have the wagons too and then like right here you have the the beetles and that's just so cool guys they're literally everywhere it's insane wagon right now and inside this wagon check this out there's literally just a bunch of car parts in here like from all the other wagons it's all just piled up in there that's crazy you know the seats are even ripped out they're the steering wheel guys how like I know this is a stupid thing to say, but how old do you think that these cars are? How old do you think that particular steering wheel is, you know? Like, how long has this stuff really been sitting here? It's crazy to be in this environment right now. I love this. And you can tell that this has been here for a while because now moss is starting to grow on top of the car. Look guys, even in this wagon over here, they got all the freaking parts in here. Just a bunch of stuff. <laughs> They got the tops ripped off. It almost looks like it's a convertible. I mean, I don't know if it, if it is, but that's pretty cool. So I saw something really cool while I was checking out these cars. There's actually still a license plate on this car. And that's not the only one either. There's actually tons of license plates on some of these cars, and that's really cool that they haven't been ripped off or scrapped yet.
so yeah guys that's pretty much it for the abandoned Volkswagen graveyard it was a really small spot but something like that is super unique and you have to see something like that at least once before it's gone you know you don't know how long how much longer those cars are gonna be there but uh, yeah guys so that's pretty much that's pretty much it for this video so me and Steve here got a little bit of a walk to go before we get back to our car and we start to head home man like we've been road tripping for the past two days now but you know it is what it is we do what we want to do we do what we can do all for the sake of exploring and just doing what we love to do but yeah guys so as per usual please leave a like if you enjoyed this video because it actually makes a difference it actually helps me out do not forget to smash that subscribe button also be free to leave comments in the description telling me what you thought about the place telling me where you want me to go next anything i'm open to suggestions guys also make sure if you're not already subscribed to steve that you are link is in the description below and make sure you go cop some of this dope merch because it's awesome it gives you magical exploring powers <laughs> you don't get it until you put it on so if you want the powers go buy it go put it on so yeah guys that's it for today thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video peace